What's up, everybody? Real quick, make sure to hit my name. See the little name, the little, little picture with that little thingy in there, right there in the corner? Yeah, yeah, click that, click that. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. If you're on YouTube, only if you're on YouTube. If you're on Instagram, go up here, go up here, hit my name right now, let's go. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Scooter Roth, and we're back with another episode of My Messy Desk. Uh, so, anyway, I recently had to upgrade my phone. Tell you a little bit why I had the Samsung S8 uh, Plus, and you can see how it's kind of glitching out a little bit. Um, so what happened was, is I dropped it in the corner here. Uh, insurance manufacturer, all that stuff already expired. Um, anyway, uh, so I figured it was time for an upgrade. So this was the S8 Plus, great phone. Um, so anyway, uh, because so then I really wanted to hold out and use that phone for another couple months because I knew the new note was going to be out probably in August, September. Um, but anyway, uh, the S10 looks looks great. The S10 Plus is out. But I really wanted to go back to the Samsung Notes uh, because I like having a pen in hand, especially when I'm on the phone with a client and I'm in the car and I pull over and I talk to the client. I'm always like scrambling around for a pen, something to write because it's very hard to just type something into your phone uh, when you're doing that. And you know, you could have a tablet or something like that. Like Samsung has the Tab S4 that has pens. Um, there's the Surface. Uh, I just actually upgraded my Surface as well. I'm going to talk to you about that uh another day but anyway um so i like having the note i like having the pen here and it's going to come in handy for this now if you just upgraded your phone and you got the new samsung's out there you'll notice that they start going into software updates so if you look here you'll sit back and see let's see if you can see this here so you'll sit back and see how it says here software update so it's going to ask you to constantly do a software update. Now, I probably did about eight of them already. And you get to the point where you start getting frustrated and you think that it's in this endless software update loop that there's something wrong with the phone. Um, you can see here my old phone is glitching like crazy um, because it's actually doing a backup anyway. So back to the, uh, the Samsung Note 9. You get these software updates and then you update the software. Uh, you wait for the phone to go through the process, turns off, turns back on, installs the software, phone's ready to go, and then within like five minutes it says the same thing again. The software is updated. It doesn't tell you much about the software, it just tells you there's one to update. You do this like three, four times and you start getting frustrated you think there's a glitch with the phone. So you start Googling, you know, uh, Samsung software uh, update glitches or loop, endless loops, how to get around it. And if you go to the Samsung forums, the Samsung people are going to sit back and tell you, uh, maybe try to do a factory reset or uh, clear the write catch, write, W-R-I-T-E, write catch, which is where it writes data to, uh, to clear that or maybe even do a full factory reset, which you don't want to do. You just brought the phone. Why should you have to do all this stuff already? So what I ended up finding out was if you go into your settings, so this is my Samsung phone. So if you swipe down from the top, you click on that top right, that top right button. That's going to go into your settings. When you scroll all the way down, you're going to see something that says about phone. Let's see if you can see it at the bottom. You're going to see where it says about phone. You're going to tap on that. You're going to go to something called software information. And then under software information, there's going to be a something called a baseband version. So here's a great use for the Note 9. I'm going to take out the pen here. I'm going to screen write. And now I'm going to circle that baseband version. So I just circled it to make it a little bit easier. So if you look at the baseband version, it ends with a certain number. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Google. Let me bring the camera over here. Uh, let me turn the light off. So I know I could sit back and do a, a, a screenshot thing here. Uh, but anyway, you're going to Google up here, Samsung Note 9 baseband version or whatever uh, software that you did just get, whatever new phone that you just brought. Uh, and you're going to look up baseband version. It's going to tell you all the software updates. So for me, it's AT&T, T-Mobile. You scroll down, you'll see some Verizon ones as well. But when you click on that, it's going to take you a page that tells you here the software updates that are available now. 
when I, I brought my phone. So the first time it went through, did that software update was this first one. And you could see here the baseband version, how it ends. So each time you do it, it's going to install another one. It installs these individually. So it may look... Let's put this back around. So when you first get your phone, it's go, you're going to think that it's constantly in this endless loop. What you want to do is once you Google and you find out how many different versions it has to install, uh, and then from there you'll know how many times they had to go through that software process because each one, each time it does it, it's installing um, a new one. So here there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine so there are nine software updates to the current one from the time that the phone was manufactured and probably sent to the store to now there's nine times so i have to go through and click that software update wait for the process to go through the phone resets gets back to the starting screen i have to do that nine times in order to get to the current version so that's what you want to do rather than sit back and worrying about a factory reset or anything like that these updates are the at&t updates so if you're on Verizon, it might be um, different version numbers. It might be uh, different uh, amounts or how many times you got to do these software updates, T-Mobile, Sprint, depending on what platform you're on. But anyway, so those are all the carrier updates. Those are separate from the phone itself. So don't do a factory reset. Don't clear your cache. Don't do anything like that. Just go into your about phone, look up baseband version, and then look, look up Verizon or whatever service you have. For me, it was at t and find out how many different updates you got to do. So therefore, then you'll know that it's not any kind of a glitch. There's nothing wrong with your phone or anything like that. So that's what I'm doing <clears throat> today on my messy desk because I'm getting my nice new Samsung phone ready to go. I still got to install Lightroom on here uh, and start doing more mobile stuff like that. I can start doing some videos on it. Uh, it's got two cameras. It's still just a very good high-end phone. Um, so anyway, I'm excited and I'm looking forward to it. So I hope you learned something from today's messy desk episode. Uh, click subscribe if you're on Instagram. Instagram, make sure to click my icon and follow me. This is just the EDU, the back end, the business photography stuff. Um, anyway, I uh, hope to see you next time. Take care.